I'm posting a video in my own description box. That's one of my videos that I wanted to give an intro to because it's really not so much about the message. It's that there is some spiritual activity four times in the video. And I wanted to share that because it is, like Mark Hardy says, it's for everybody. It's to, it's just more evidence the Lord is allowing to show the truth of the spiritual realm being all around us all the time. And not just the spiritual realm, but he truly is right here. He never leaves us or forsakes us. Jesus is with us. Actually, we are in him. It says in the Gospel of John that all things consist in him, in the word from whom all things came, by whom all things were created. The eternal, infinite spirit, Yahweh. Jesus is that spirit come in the flesh. He is creator. He is savior. And he is coming soon. He is coming soon. And so I guess this is evidence to give us more faith, hopefully to bring other people to repentance, to receive salvation by calling on the name of Jesus Christ. That is his heart. And this is a gift. And when we watch Mark Hardy's videos and we're on live chats recently, this is happening all the time. Well, not all the time, but when it happens, it happens big time. And it's been going on for at least a year, probably more. I happened to get acquainted with Mark by video on YouTube. And I remember early on, the first couple times that we saw these spirit orbs, was like, what's that? And then the realization that this is spirit being revealed, that the Lord is allowing these to slow down, that we can see them, or else we just have spiritual eyes now that we are born again. And then more and more it would happen. And there's the one Mark links usually, our body is the temple of God. Somewhere around the four, right from the beginning, actually, things are happening. And he's really, as always, passionate about the Lord, Jesus Christ. And at one point, he's saying, we can't have stinking thinking. We must rebuke these spirits that our body is the temple of God. And one comes right out of his head between four and five minutes, and it's like a quarter inch beautiful, beautiful, purple and black, almost butterfly-shaped spirit. And you can not believe me, you can go look and pause it as much as you want. It literally comes out of his head, flies around, circles back, and goes away. And meanwhile, other activity is happening. So that was already astonishing beyond anything in the world I'd ever seen. And what I really want to say is, Mark, first of all, I want to make this point, whoever is not familiar with the depths of Mark's faith and faithfulness to the Lord, he is anointed of the Lord. And I am warning whoever is coming against him to know that they are dealing with a faithful servant of the Most High God. I'm upset. I'm not upset for Mark. I am, I am overwhelmed by our holy, holy, holy creator, almighty God, spirit, eternal spirit, God almighty, and who he is and how he works in this creation of his. Part of me is mourning how much people reject and mock and scoff our Lord. That's what this is. And their damnation if they do not come to the Lord and repent. Because we know, because the spiritual is being so evidently revealed to us, we know that this is not just cool. This is that hell is real. Satan is real. The demonic is here. And it works through our minds. We are either filled with the Holy Spirit of God, or we are giving access to the demonic. And if one cannot yet proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord, and that he is the son of a living God, that spirit, the eternal, infinite Yahweh, born into humanity, and that he died for our sins and rose from the dead and he lives. If that's not something you can yet say, you are not saved. And you will go to hell forever. It's all real. And Jesus is giving us more and more evidence, not just to say that's cool, but this is real. This is battle battle for our eternal soul. So I pray that we who are in Christ, we stay faithful. I don't, we know no one will be lost 
from Jesus' hands. He will not lose a one whom the Father has given into his hands. It would take our jumping out and turning away, and I don't think that's happening. But, you know, we stay in humility and repentance before the Lord, awaiting his coming. That's what we're waiting on. He is coming back, and these are those end times. And it's why we feel so schizophrenic, because we are seated in the heavenly places with him already, our spirit. That's what Ephesians tells us. Besides Ephesians telling us that we are wrestling not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the spiritual wickedness in high places, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, which we are seeing. It also tells us that's why we're feeling so not at home here. Jesus is coming. He is preparing the bride of Christ to rise and meet him. And we will probably do battle here for him before we go. And he's strengthening us. And he's drawing all men to him. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men to me. So Christ was crucified by his free will to lay down his life for us so that we could be saved. Have the chains broken because Satan is our captor. And Jesus holds the keys. So I want to say God bless everyone in the body of Christ. And I'm thankful to the Lord Jesus Christ for drawing us together as he said he would. He is the head, we are the body, and we're going to be rejoined with the head of this body soon. And we'll keep lifting each other up. So you'll see these things just for it. Sorry, but that just came over me. And um, the, the spirits, did I say this already? At 2.41, at 6.30, about 10.05. And then the faint last one around 12.06, back here, fast and faint. All right, bye-bye.